Eagle Nation News. Tyler Winden highlights Medgar Evers, an American civil rights activist. Nico Ray features the Vietnam War veteran that visited Prosper High School juniors last week. How did a first-hand experience help students understand the true circumstance of war? And finally, Casey Boston is in studio to highlight Counseling Week and everything counselors do for students. What can you do to thank your counselors for their contributions? All this and more today on Eagle Nation News. Live from Prosper, Texas, this is Eagle Nation News. Good afternoon, Prosper High School. Today is Monday, February 5th. I'm Caitlin Wessels. I'm Nico Ray. And I'm Nick Anderson. We start today's show with breaking news out of the stock market. The Dow Jones Industrial Average has dropped over 1,000 points today alone. If this holds, it would be the worst single day point decline in Dow history. Now on to sports. Last night was Super Bowl 52. Nico, you have more? That's right, Caitlin, and it was definitely a game to remember. Both teams played well, but the Eagles took the win, marking their first ever Super Bowl title after losing their last Super Bowl appearance, last two Super Bowl appearances, stripping the Patriots and Tom Brady of the sixth Super Bowl title. Prosper Swimming made a splash at the regional competition with girls and boys finishing second overall. Sixteen different swimmers and divers will be headed to state, competing in nine different events. Now we send over to Tyler Winden, who dove into the history of NAACP Field Secretary and Civil Rights Leader, Medgar Evers. Medgar Evers was a civil rights activist in Mississippi who lived from 1925 to 1963. During his life, Evers was the Field Secretary for NAACP. National Association for the Advancement of Colored People. In addition to his work in the organization, he had his eyes set on ending segregation at the University of Mississippi. While he was devoted to racial equality, Evers made the biggest impact on the fight for equality after his assassination. Evers was shot and killed on June 12, 1963, but his story was just beginning. People everywhere were furious. The assassinator Byron de la Beckwith was tried and set free by two all-white juries. As a result of Evers' death, he sparked a national want to pass the Civil Rights Act of 1964. The act ended segregation and began equal employment for African Americans. Medgar Evers ultimately helped lead to the Civil Rights Act that defined the course of the Civil Rights Movement for the next couple of decades. Thank you, Tyler. After this commercial break, Nico Ray highlights the veteran that visited Prosper High School last week. Valentine's Day is coming up quick, and you know what that means. Maybe you're thinking about getting that special somebody flowers, or maybe even a big present. But really, take your shot this year, do something different, and get them a candy gram. Plus, all proceeds will be donated to charity. Starting today, this fundraiser will be selling blow pops for $1 each with an optional note. If you'd like to purchase, they will be selling them during B-Day lunches until the 13th. Tim O'Brien's The Things They Carried, a collection of short stories about soldiers in the Vietnam War, is a mandatory read for Prosper High School juniors. Nico Ray highlights the supplementary education that these students received when a Vietnam War veteran visited PHS. Required reading. Something all students go through, it can oftentimes be tedious and uninteresting. I sat down with Ms. Reyes, an English 3 teacher here at Prosper High School, who, with the help of her department, made the book they're reading in class just a little more relative. I remember in high school having speakers come speak to us and talk to us about not doing drugs. And, you know, teachers and your parents say that all the time. But until they brought in inmates who were sitting in prison because they had killed someone drinking and driving or they'd done drugs, it didn't really stick with people. So I wanted students to be able to hear someone who had really lived out what it meant to fight in Vietnam. And so when we were planning one day as a team, uh, we just had this idea that let's try to find someone who was a Vietnam veteran. And I mentioned it to a class and a student said that she knew someone, and so that's how we found Mr. Cloud. 
Mr. Joe Cloud, a Vietnam veteran, visited English classes last Wednesday and Thursday and shared his stories from Vietnam with English 3 students. His stories varied from being in the middle of gunfights to what soldiers did for fun during downtime. In sharing his story, students had the opportunity to relate his experiences to those they are reading about and the things they carried. It definitely tied into the book that we're reading and it definitely gave me a bigger picture and a better insight to what is actually, it, it like helps me think about how you can relate it to real life when you're reading the book. It doesn't make you seem like you're just reading a fictional book, like it's real, like it feels real. And having that guy come in and tell us everything that he experienced just made it even more real. For me, it was very emotional to watch him tell his stories because uh, it just makes it real. People really did live like animals. They really did fight a war that they didn't believe in because they were told to do so. And I think that takes a lot of courage to do that. Um, and so for me, it was, it was watching him tell the stories. It was almost therapeutic for him to tell these stories, but it was also therapeutic for us to really be able to apply those stories to what we're reading um, and how it affected him and how it can affect him still today and how it affects us um, while we're watching and listening to his stories and apply that to our book. While in 2018, high school juniors are reading books and preparing for college, Mr. Cloud and other teens around the country were preparing for war. The things they carried is a tale of brotherhood and hardships during the Vietnam War. And thanks to Mr. Cloud, a 28-year-old book has been given new life. For Eagle Nation News, I'm Nico Ray. Prosper. Thank you, Nico. After this commercial break, Casey Boston is in studio to discuss Counseling Week. Student Council is selling underclassmen shirts to wear at the Spring Sports Pep Rally on February 23rd. Please enter courses for the 2018-2019 school year in Skyward by February 7th. Applications for practicum courses are on the PHS website. The Health Science Qualification Questionnaire must be completed by February 7th with recommendations. Permission forms to enroll in dual credit courses next year are due to the Counseling Office by March 9th. Counselors do many things for high school students, yet they are often under-recognized. Here in studio to discuss National Counseling Week is Casey Boston. Thanks, Nick. It's National School Counseling Week, which is a week for students to appreciate their counselors and their contribution to our school. They help with things like college prep, scheduling, and to talk through issues. Course selection is due this week, so if you have any conflicts, you can be sure to talk to your counselor. This Appreciation Week will be from the 5th to the 9th for the counselors. Now be sure to follow our Twitter at Eagle Nation News for news, polls, and updates. And be sure to check out our website, eaglenation.net, to watch previous episodes. That's all I have for you guys today. Back to you guys at the desk. Thank you, Casey. Now we send it over to Ryan Ranzer in the Eagle Zone with a sports update. Thank you, Nico. Last Friday, both props for basketball teams faced off at home against Creekview. The boys swept the Mustangs 68-33, with Zach Reitzel having 14 points. And the girls also swept Creekview 58-35, with Mackenzie Hewitt scoring 18. And last weekend, girls soccer beat Newman Smith 2-0, staying undefeated. And boys soccer took down Newman Smith 4-0 to move up in district. That's all I have for you today. I'm Ryan Ranzer, reporting from the Eagle Zone. For Eagle Nation News, I'm Nico Ray. I'm Nick Anderson. And I'm Caitlin Wessels. Live long and prosper.